Houston, a city of 2.3 million, woke on Wednesday morning to clear skies for the first time in five days. An overnight curfew imposed by the mayor to prevent looting was lifted at 6 in the morning. I don't want them to have to worry about someone breaking into their home or looting or doing anything of that nature while they are away. 17,000 people spent the night in emergency shelters, while police, firefighters, and soldiers worked endlessly to reach those who remained stranded. At least 600 more people were rescued overnight. The operation right now is very clear. We're still in life-saving, uh, life-sustaining mode. Not only are we perf you know, performing uh, through, through our partners at the Coast Guard, we're performing those life safety measures, but the life sustainment mission is huge. The rain over Houston may have stopped, at least for now, but some of this flooding may still increase. This water is from the Attucks Reservoir, which overflowed earlier in the week, and swollen rivers continue to crest as water tries to drain toward the Gulf of Mexico. City leaders estimate some 40,000 homes have been destroyed, and by Wednesday morning, 45,000 square kilometers remain underwater. Authorities fear the body count will soar once the water recedes. A police officer and a family of six are among the growing number of confirmed dead in Houston. And in nearby Beaumont, divers rescued a child clinging to her dead mother in a drainage canal. The two had been swept away from a flooded parking lot. If people will just pay attention to what the uh, authorities in the local communities and county are telling them, don't get out if you don't have to get out. Meanwhile, donations of clothing and bedding continue to pour into a Houston stadium. But even as Texas begins to recover, Tropical Storm Harvey is now moving on to the state of Louisiana.